so we're going to be reading a poem today. And do you guys know what poetry is? Have you heard of that before? No. No? Okay, so poetry is a type of writing. It's normally shorter, so this is the whole thing. Um, and can you see the one? It's normally shorter. And it has like a rhythm to it. So like, you know how... Monsters don't dance. Yep, that's what it's called. Monsters don't dance. But before we read this, I want to talk about poetry real quick. So poetry is like, it has a rhythm to it. So sometimes it rhymes, but it doesn't always have to. But you know how a song has like a beat? Like you can like feel it. You know, you can tap along to the beat. You can play it. Well, poetry is kind of like that too. You can kind of feel how you're supposed to say it. So we're going to be working on our fluency today. So we're going to be working on how we say it. So as I read, I'm gonna, we're going to be reading it together. You guys are going to be following along while I read it out loud. And pay attention to what my voice sounds like. So where I stop and where I start and where I put emphasis. So where I like say words a little differently than others. And really be listening to how I say it, okay? Because then we're all going to be saying it together and we're going to try and match. We're all going to try and sound the same. Oh, the art on the wall, that's really cool. Yeah. Okay, are we ready to get started? Okay, so Halloween is this weekend. I'm sure you guys are aware. It starts on Saturday. Yeah, Saturdays. Exciting time. So we're going to read a little bit about what monsters do and what monsters don't do. So this is called Monsters Don't Dance by Anne Ingalls. Can we see? Monsters don't dance. We stop. Monsters don't prance. We clump. Thumping and clumping all over the place. With a howl and growl and scowl on each face. Yeah, I'm just going to read right now and then we'll all read together next. Jumping around as we bippity bop. Pumping our arms as we hippity hop. Striding and gliding, we romp and we clump. Monsters don't dance, we stomp. Okay, I'm going to read it one more time and let's be really listening on where I pause and where I say things a little bit with more stress, like a little bit louder maybe. Okay, so let's be really listening. Okay, Monsters Don't Dance by Anne Ingalls. Monsters don't dance, we stomp. Monsters don't prance, we clomp. Thumping and clumping all over the place with a howl and growl and scowl on each face. Jumping around as we bippity bop, pumping our arms as we hippity hop. Striding and gliding, we romp and we clomp. Monsters don't dance, we stomp. Okay, so where, when I was reading, where did you hear me pause? Can you point where I pause? Right after dance. Right after dance? Yeah. Right after dance? Yeah. After place? Yeah, after place. Did you see any places where I paused the one? Did you hear that? Hippity. Mm, hippity hop. And we. Where? We stomp? I mean, we romp. We romp. Yeah, so the couple of places you guys pointed out where I pause, there's a little mark. Do you see the commas? Mm -hmm. So you guys have learned about commas in your writing. They like break up sentences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of commas in this. So and another one, mm -hmm. and another one. Yeah, so when we come to a comma as we're reading, we pause. The author puts the commas there so we know where to pause. So when I say, monsters don't dance, we stop instead of saying, monsters don't dance, we stop. And so, you know how instead of saying it all as one, we have a comma to break it up. Do you see that, Delvon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so other places we pause at, which you guys pointed out, are at periods. So after each sentence, we pause, and then we start the new sentence. So the last, so I know this was a while ago because we just took, we just had a week off. But before that, when we were reading the books, those little books that we had, about dogs and whales and Edwin's haircut. We had troubles not pausing. We weren't pausing after sentences. So we need to remember that as we read out loud, we need to pause at commas and we need to pause at the ends of sentences. So it could either be a period or an exclamation point like at the end. Okay, so we're all gonna read this together now. 
And here's your copy of one. And we're going to be reading out loud. And we're, we're all going to try and read the same. So you've heard me read it twice now. <coughs> you've heard me read it twice. And so we're going to try and match how we say it. I have a question. Yeah. Do we need the pencils? Oh, we'll use the pencils later. So we don't need the pencils right now, but we'll use them later. Okay. So can you tell me one place where we're going to pause? Mm -hmm. After don't and dance mm -hmm. and don't and dance. Yeah. And what, were, what is that mark that tells us what to pause? What is that called? Comma. A comma. What's another place we're going to pause at? So long. After Hippity. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what are these called? Things. No, the the little tiny marks. Dots. Yeah, the dots. What are they called? Pyramids. Um, not pyramids. Periods. Oh. Yeah, periods. So that's. Yeah, right the, here the bippity. Yeah, bippity hop and hippity hop. So we need to pause at those periods. Okay, are we ready to read? Yeah. Okay, we're all gonna read at the same time. Okay, ready? Monsters Don't Dance by Anne Ingalls. I need to hear you, Delvon. Monsters, Monsters Don't Dance. We stomp. Monsters Don't Prance. We clump. Thumping and clumping all over the place with a howl and growl and scowl on each face. Jumping around as we bippity bop, pumping our arms as we hippity hop. Can you speak up a little bit more? Yeah. Striding and gliding, we romp and we clump. Monsters don't dance, we stomp. Yeah, so at the end you guys did a really good job of putting a little more excitement into that. What made you guys do that? What made you think you needed to do that? Do you know? Uh, yeah, what is that called, Diego? Um, an exclamation point. Yeah, so an exclamation point makes us really, it tells us that we need to say that with excitement and that we need to say it with energy. So we did a good job of that at the end. It's like a cool pattern. Like mm -hmm, of the monsters at the bottom. So we're going to read this again together. So we're familiar with it. We did a good job of pausing. So next, um, we're going to work, the next time we read it, we're going to work on like emphasizing the word so that means like putting a little more oomph behind the word so do you see a word that's repeated a bunch in this story yeah, yeah what word dance is there a word before dance that gets repeated a lot yeah don't is three times in this story so do you think don't is an important word if it's repeated a lot yeah yeah. And I also found wee. Wee, wee, wee. Yeah, we a lot. So we the monsters are really, uh, uh, they really like being together. They're they're a unit. So when we come to dance. And we. There's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's a lot of we's. So we can see we and we can see don't. So if those are repeated a bunch and we think those are important, we're going to say those with a little more power behind them. So for example, as we say, monsters don't dance, we stop. So instead of saying monsters don't dance, we stomp, we'll say monsters don't dance, we stomp. Does that make sense? Okay, did you get that, Delvon? I also found a couple of words. Yeah. yeah, there's some rhyming in this story too. Okay, so as we read it together again, we're gonna emphasize what word, Delvon? Which word are we gonna emphasize? Don't. Don't, and what's the other word we're gonna emphasize? We, oui, yeah, so are we and ready to read again? Stop and clump. Stop, clump, stop. Yeah. Are we ready, Devon? Okay, can you hold your paper up? Here, do you want to point along with the pencil where, where you were reading? Okay, are we ready? We're going to start with the title. Okay. Monsters Don't Dance by Anne Ingalls. Monsters Don't Dance. We Stop. Monsters don't prance, we clump. Thumping and clumping all over the place. With a howl and growl and scowl on each face. Jumping around as we bippity bop. 
pumping our arms as we hippity hop. Striding and gliding, we romp and we clomp. Monsters who don't dance, we stomp. Mm -hmm. You guys are really getting the hang of the exclamation at the end. Nice work. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is you guys are each going to read it by yourselves so we can hear how you're doing. So do you want to read it one more time together or do you guys think you're ready to do it by yourselves? You ready, Diego? Okay, do you want to start reading then? And we'll listen. Monsters don't dance by N E. Monsters don't dance. We stop. Monsters don't dance. We clap. Jumping and clapping all over the place. With a howl and a growl and scowl on each face. Jumping around as we hippity hop. Pumping our arms as we hippity hop. Scrambling in like double trip. Gliding. Gliding and we romp and we clump. Monsters don't dance, we stop. Nice job, Diego. You did a good job of pausing and emphasizing each word that we discussed and a good explanation at the end. We stop. Mm -hmm. So, Delvon, do you want to read it to both of us? Or you, we can read it together again and then you can read it to yourself, whichever one you want to do. A little tired this morning? It's hard to come back to school after being a week, after not being at school for a week. I know, it feels like it's my first day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's some people's first day. I saw we had some new friends in our classroom. Oh, are you ready to read, Delvon? I don't know why, but it feels like it's my first day. <laughs> Do you want to read it together, Delvon? Okay, are we ready? Monsters don't dance. Here, we're, we're reading together. I need to be able to hear what you're saying, too. I don't want to just hear my voice a bunch. Okay, ready? Monsters don't dance by Anne Ingalls. Can you read the first sentence to me? Drink of water? Go Staying awake, though, one? Do you stand up a little bit? <laughs> Don't stand up. Don't want to fall asleep on us. Here, you can go get a drink of water and come back. That'll help. Do you want to do that? No. We'll just do a good stretch here. We'll, we'll all stand up, okay? We'll all stand up and stretch real quick. You ready, Diego? Oh, stuck on my skirt. Okay, ready? I don't know if I can do this. Ooh, that's a good stretch. You guys are a lot more flexible than I am. Okay, we'll bring it back up. <gasps> Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Okay, we feel ready. Stay a little stretched out. Stretch your arms a little bit. I need to stand a little here. Oh, yeah, you can stand Okay, are we ready? Shake it out a little bit. Shake it out. Really get into it. Okay. Feel a little more awake? Yeah. Okay, so we'll go back to our monster poem. Okay, you can sit down if you want, Jacob, but you're fine. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Okay, we'll read it together. Monsters don't dance. dance but Monsters don't dance by any animals. Monsters don't dance. We stomp. Monsters don't practice. Plants. We come. Jumping and clumping. All over the place. With a howl and growl and scowl on each face, jumping around as we hippity and pop, bippity bop, bippity bop, humming our arms as we hippity hop, striding and. Why? We, 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 we
Nice job. Okay, you did a really good job of pausing at commas and at periods. But let's read that last sentence together because we have the exclamation point we talked about. So let's read that last sentence one more time and let's say with some excitement. How are we supposed to say it? We said it, we said it really well. Yeah, monsters don't dance. We stomp. Mm -hmm. So we got that exclamation point and we have that comma so we know what to pause. Okay, you guys did a really good job. So what were two things we're, that we worked on with our fluency today? Theo, do you remember one thing? Yeah, we pause at commas. Where's the other place that we paused at one? Uh, we pause at don't stop. Uh, we're here. I'm going to follow Number the line. Two. Where am I supposed to pause? What's that? We talked about that? That marking? Exclamation. Yep, that's one punctuation mark. Exclamation. Well, what's the other one? The period? Yeah. Can you point it to me, Doba? Can you point to the periods? Can you point to one of them? Yep, right there at the end of the sentence. So we pause at commas and we pause at periods. And what does an exclamation point mean when we read? Like excitement? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got to say it with some excitement behind it. So instead of saying monsters don't dance, we stomp, we would say monsters don't dance, we stomp. Does that make sense? Okay, so we're going to do some writing. Yes. Yeah, we're going to do some writing. We need our pencils now, yeah and give you each a piece of paper. And we're gonna write at least four sentences. Yep, and we're gonna challenge ourselves today. We're gonna write four sentences. So in our writing, we just talked about exclamation points and periods and commas. So in, while we're writing, we need to really be paying attention to those because we know we need to have them. We need to end a sentence with a punctuation. And we're going to use at least one exclamation point in our writing so that we go back and reread it at the end. We can add some excitement in there. Does that sound good? So you guys can write about like Halloween or maybe what you did over fall break or anything like that. We're going to write a short story. And it's going to be at least four sentences. Here you go, Del Juan. Okay. So we can see in our monster poem that Anne Ingalls started with a title. So let's try and challenge ourselves and add a title to our story too. Okay, do you guys want to sit, get writing? What are you going to write about, Delvon? Delvon? You want to write about some movies? Can we stand up again? Diego, what are you going to write about? You don't know yet? What are some ideas you have? Okay, so one thing that helps me when I'm going to write something is I can remember that what I think I can say out loud, what I can say out loud I can write down too. So let's try and pick a topic right now. We can wrote, both write about the same thing so we can come up with ideas together. Does that sound good? Okay, so Delvon, what did you do over fall break? So you talked about... Delvon, do you need to go get a drink of water and come back? Because you're falling asleep on me. Can you open your eyes and look at me? Delvon, can you open your eyes and look at me? Can you open them up? Hey, Delvon, can you look at me? Can you open your eyes? Can you go to the nurse's office? Are you feeling okay? Can you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Are you feeling okay, Delvon? Yeah? Here, can we stand up real quick? Falling asleep. Devon, can you stand up? Yeah. Do you need to go to the nurse's office? No, do you want to get a drink of water real quick, though? Do you have a water bottle in the classroom? Can you get water at the water fountain still, or no? No. No? Okay. You can? Oh. Okay, Devon, can you stand up, though? I want to open my own water bottle. Yeah, that's. A 
touch everything right now. Do we need to go to the next focus or do you just need to stretch for a little bit? Do you want to stay standing so we don't, we don't fall asleep while we're sitting? Are we tired? I want to go sleep all day. All day? Well, we could write about that. We could write about our sleep schedules. We're not getting enough sleep at home. It's hard to come back from a week of break to school because it's early in the morning. I don't know why, but I want to go back to my house and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling okay? I don't know okay. why. Are we ready to write? Do we some stretch? Yeah, you can take some time and stretch. Wake up a little bit, maybe do some wiggles. Like the monsters in our story. They were clumping and jumping all around. We can talk about stretching too in our stories. Okay. Okay, Diego, did you? So you said you went to Indy, Indianapolis over fall break. Do you want to write about what you did in Indy? You could write about the pumpkin patch. No, that's what I want. That's what you want to write about? No, what do you want to write about? You could write about Among Us, the video game you played. Do you want to write about that? Or did you play with any Legos over break too? Yeah, you can write about those too. So let's You can write about the new Lego set. Let's pick a topic though, okay? Okay, are we gonna write about the new Lego set? Okay. So let's think about some things. Maybe you could say what you built with the Lego set. Okay, Delvon. So we could write about what did you do this morning before school? Do you remember? So do you want to write your morning routine maybe? You could say I woke up, I did this and then that, and then I went to school. Does that sound good? Yeah? Okay, let's get writing then. Okay, Diego, we're writing about our new Lego set. What can you say about your new Lego set? Yeah, so what you can, remember what we, what we say out loud, we can write down too. So you just told me what you did this morning. So what you said to me, you can write down. So same with you, Diego. You said my mom bought me a new Lego set. So you can write that down. That can be your first sentence. Do you think laying down is going to help, or do we, do we think we need to sit up? So what did you what did you say to me when I asked you what you did this morning? What's the first thing you did? I woke up. Yeah, that can be your first sentence. I woke up. Okay, do you need to write on the on the folder? There you go, pencil in there. Okay, so our first one, my mom buy me a new Lego set. So what kind of Lego? What can you tell me about the Lego set? It's red and blue. So remember what we think we can say and what we say we can write. So what did you just tell me about the Lego set? Okay, so if we can say. If we can write what we say, then can that be our next sentence? Because that adds some detail to our to our little story.
What's our first sentence? Don't want to read it to me. Nice job, both of you ending your um, sentences with periods. Good work. So you want to think what up uh, another detail about your Lego set, Diego? What did you do after you brushed your teeth? Can you tell me more about your um, Lego set? Um, what is that? Shield? It has a shield? It has a shield? So remember in our writing, we're going to add an exclamation point. So let's, do, let's remember that one of our sentences needs to have some excitement in it so you can put an exclamation point. Shield? Is that is something exciting? Is that something you really like about the Lego set? Is that it has a shield? No, it's pretty normal. It has a shield? Wow. Is it a Halo Lego set? Like the other one you told me about? I don't know why it's red and blue. Maybe so it can be on like different times. What'd you say after? So, can you read what you have so far? And it goes like doing it. Now I'm going to go, I brushed my teeth and I washed my hair. And I went to school. To school? Now that you're at school, how are you feeling? Are you excited to be back at school? Are you a little tired? Excited to meet the new classmates you guys got? I'm tired. Mr. Pendleton's You're class, tired. why are our eyes not forward? Okay. So you said you're feeling tired? Is that, are you feeling really, really tired? Is that something? So maybe you can add, say, at school, I feel tired. And you can put an exclamation point at the end because you really feel tired. Okay, Diego. So, what are some more details we can put? Did you play with your? Who did you play with with your little? I'm not finished with it. Oh, you're not finished building it yet. Oh wow! Did it take a long time so far? How much time did you spend on it? Uh, an hour? An hour? Wow, that's a long time. Because when we're from the time lane, mm. like, well, we're waiting, like, we need to go at the truck. Yeah, it's only an hour. Like, we need to get on. Mm -hmm. Do you really like the new Lego set, though? Yes. Yeah. So we, we talked about at the end, says monsters don't dance, we stop and add some excitement to it. So if you really like it, you can say that and you can add, because that's an exciting feeling that you like that, um, your new Lego set a lot. And getting a new Lego set is exciting. So we can add an exclamation point to our next sentence. Oh yeah, this is what my brother asked for like Christmas. Mm. He asked for an air hockey cake. Oh wow. <laughs> Maybe you could get one of the small ones. I know. Like, he wanted like a big one, and my mom found a very big one. Oof. And the room's kind of little. Like, <laughs> okay. So we 
talked about? How are we going to end that sentence? Yeah, I did. With an exclamation point? Yeah. We have so many toys. So where would that fit? Can you count how many sentences you have? Make sure you have four. Like, these are my toys, the other one is it, and these are his toys. So, I have four. I have four. Perfect. Do you want to add a title? So what would be a good title for what you talked about? My life. My life, yeah. Because we're doing our beds. Like our beds are in the middle. Okay, so sounds like you guys don't have a lot of room for an air hockey table. But do you have room for your Lego set in there? Yes. Good. Lego sets are little. Can you count how many sentences you have so far? See if we. And what was the other requirement? What was the other thing we needed to do? Uh, yep, an exclamation point. So let's write that last sentence and let's add that exclamation point. Yeah, it is cool. That's cool. That's a good way to end it. And then, what can be a title to our story? So Delvon titled his My Life because he talked about his morning. So here, Dovon, we just talked about pausing at periods and adding emphasis and exclamation points. So can you read your story to me using those ideas too? Can you add a title to yours, Diego? Can you do that, Dovon? You're going to read the story you just wrote to me, and you're going to use what we worked on with the poem. So pausing at periods and commas and adding emphasis, adding some excitement, uh, exclamation points. So can you read it to me? You just read it. Do you need to stand up again? Yeah. My Lego said, do you want to put by Diego too? Just like we have by and Ingles. So we can take some, some ownership of you. Know, so we can take some pride over what we wrote. Okay, Devon, can you read it to me? Can you stand up? Delvon? Okay, can you read it? Start with your title. Here, can you stand up for me? We're falling asleep again. We need to do some, shake it out a little bit. After we're done reading, we can go to the bathroom. So we can wake up a little bit. Maybe some splash of water on our face. Okay. Here, we'll start with Diego first, Delvon. Okay, can you listen? Can you get our eyes on Diego as he reads our story? So I was just telling Delvon, we're going to read the story we just wrote, and just how we read Monsters Don't Dance, we're going to stop at periods, and we're going to add emphasis when we get, or we're going to add some excitement when we get to exclamation points. And we're going to, if we think something's really important in the story, we're going to maybe add some power behind that word so it can really be heard so it sticks out a little bit so do you want to read your story Diego? Uh, my mom, my mom nice job so good job pausing after the periods and in your writing good job at capitalizing and ending each sentence with a little uh, punctuation mark Okay, Delvon, so we just heard Diego do her, his. Let's hear you do yours now, okay? Diego? Or Delvon? Oh. Delvon? Do we stand up? Do we stand up a little bit? Stretch it. This is the last thing we're going to do, and then we're going to collect everything, and we're going to go to take a bath and break, okay? Okay, so just as Delvon listened to you, Diego, we're going to listen to Delvon read his. Okay? Can you read? Can you start with your title? Yeah. Wait, didn't I read my title? Miss Whaley? Mm -hmm. My title. Oh, okay. Well, we'll come back and we can read your title, too. Okay, we're ready for a sentence, Delvon. We got our title. Delvon, can you read the first sentence? What did you write? Can you point to it with your pencil? 
Okay, can we stand up again? Right, like this. Can we stand up? Okay. As, can you read while you stand? Here, I'll point to each word. Okay, ready? I can see what he's reading. Hi, uh, what is this word? What did you write? What'd you brush? Job. Yeah, at school you're feeling tired, so we added an exclamation point at the end because we're really feeling that. Okay. So, Jerry, you want to read your title to us real quick so we know what it's called? Uh, nice job. My Lego set by Diego. We have My Life by Del Vaughn. Okay, so we learned a couple of things. So while we're reading, we pause at at periods and we pause at commas. commas yep and then what's another punctuation mark we talked about what's the last one we used in the sentence Donald? exclamation point yep an exclamation yeah tired was our last word and we ended our sentence with an exclamation point because we're really feeling that emotion and we ended our it is cool with an exclamation point because our lego sets are really cool and we're excited about that so as we read we also, as we read our monster poem, we saw that don't was repeated. And so we knew that was an important word. So as we read, we emphasized it and we said monsters don't dance. And we also saw that we was a repeated word. And so we said monsters don't dance, we stop. So you see how I emphasize don't in the evening sentence? Mm -hmm. yeah, so as we read other stories and not just poetry, we need to remember those things so that we can, uh, so that we sound like a fluent reader, so that we sound like a really good reader, because we are good readers, okay? I just realized something. It, it. Oh yeah, we started a lot of our sentences with it. So that next time we go to write, let's try and add some variation in there. So let's try and write some different kinds of sentences. Okay, but nice job, you guys. I can take these and we can go take a bath or something. So we can wake up a little bit, maybe spark some water on our face. Get a drink of water if you have your water bottle.